All right, this video is going to be on how to make the grill uh, in Onshape. So here's the grill. It's uh, a three by three inch uh, square that's extruded 0.25 inches offset and then has kind of this grill pattern in the middle. So we're going to go through and model this. All right, so over in Onshape, the first thing that we need to do, this is an example of what it's going to look like, uh, but we're going to go ahead and create a new Part Studio. I'm going to call this one Grilly. And we're going to start with a three by three inch square. So we'll get my square tool, just draw out a square. We'll make this three and that three. And I'm going to extrude my square 0.25 inches, so nothing new here, so 0.25. Should all be pretty simple so far. And then I'm gonna add a fillet to the outside corner. So make sure you get this corner highlighted. We don't want the face or these edges, we just want this corner. So right there like that, we're gonna do two, three, and four. So we should have these kind of rounded corners like that. So we'll go ahead and apply that. So we got our corners look good. And now what I'm gonna do is offset this face. So we need to shrink this down because if we look at the example here, it's kind of recessed in at 0.1 inches. So I'm gonna come back here and we'll do a sketch on this face. And this is the offset tool right here. What this does is if I click on this face, it can let us grow this or shrink it uh, and it makes it really easy uh, instead of having to copy all of these lines down. So I'm just going to kind of pull it in there and then hit enter and then it'll let me enter a precise dimension which is going to be 0.1. So 0.1 and we look at that and what it did is kind of created this line and kind of uh, added all this geometry so we don't have to redraw all of that. So I'll go ahead and accept that because that's what we're looking for. Uh, we look from our Instructions that this is recessed on the bottom right corner. We can see it's recessed 0.1 inches. So I'll get my extrude tool, come in here, and we're going to remove 0.1 inches. And that's exactly what we're looking for. It kind of recesses it in like that. All right, the next thing we need to do is make our first circle. So we're going to create the first one, the first hole. And then we're going to use the linear pattern to copy it out. So we can see that the, the first circle is on the top left. Uh, it's 0.5 inches from the edge and from the top, and it's a 0.2 inch circle. So we'll come in here. I'm going to sketch right on this face. And I'm just going to start by drawing a 0.2 a inch circle kind of in the right area, right there. So it's 0.2 inches. And now we're going to get it into place. So one of the nice things about a dimension tool is it can actually force something to be a certain distance from another object. So I'm going to make sure that I get my center point right here. I'm going to click on this top edge and pull this out. And what this is going to do is let me change the distance from the top. I'm going to make this 0.5. And you can see that it actually moved my circle up so it's exactly 0.5 inches. Okay, so let's do this to the other edge now. So I'm going to click on the center of my circle. On this left edge, you can see it's highlighted. And then I'm going to pull this up. And we'll make this 0.5 inches. And you can see that it actually moved it over. So now my circle is 0.5 inches from the top and from the side. So I could always just double click on this and change it. But that's in the correct position there. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Now we're going to extrude. This, I don't want it to come up, I want it to cut through, so we'll switch to remove. You can see it cut that hole, which is perfect. So I got my first hole, but if we look at the example here, we need nine by nine, so there are 81 of them. So we have to draw this 80 more times. No, just kidding, that would be terrible. What we're gonna do is just actually use our linear pattern to copy this, so here's how we're gonna do that. This is our pattern uh, tool up here. So we're gonna go to linear pattern, And I'm going to do a feature pattern. So a feature would be something like a 
extrude, revolve, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a feature right here. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see that it's highlighted. And now I need to choose the direction. So the direction that's going to go in, we're going to choose one of these lines. So you can see that they're highlighting. I don't want to get um, faces that go all the way around. I just want to choose an edge that's on the same axis in the direction that I want to go. So any of these edges would work. So I'll click on this. We can see it's going the wrong direction, so I'll flip it. We're going to make the distance 0.25 inches, and we'll make the number of them 9. We can see that we have 9 copies. Now we need to do the, the rest of them in the bottom, so what I'm going to do is choose my second direction. And then my second direction, I'm going to choose a vertical line, because I want it to go down this way on the vertical axis. We'll make it 0.25 inches. And we'll make it nine, and that should get the rest of my grill right there. So there we go. We got 81 uh, perfect holes, and that is how to do the grill assignment.